Hi there. This is Abu Adam from Business Book. Welcome to Chapter 3, Business Startups. If you can dream, you can do it. Beating the odds at startup. Beating the odds at startup requires a good idea allied to a great business plan, an entrepreneurial spirit, a willingness to take risks, business acumen to put the plan into action, determination to deal with setbacks. The reasons for starting a business are many. Some people dream of being their own boss, of turning their hobby into a profitable enterprise, of expressing their creativity, or of being richly rewarded for their hard work. Although Walt Disney's maxim if you can dream it, you can do it holds true for some, pursuing the dream is risky. Those who attempt it must have the entrepreneurial spirit to fearlessly quit a well-paid job, go it alone, and face a future filled with uncertainty. Others might need a push, often being laid off, and its associated lump sum payment can be a springboard. Younger entrepreneurs are increasingly a part of the startup scene. They may have gained the necessary skills for business by their early 20s, and enjoy the excitement and freedom of running their own venture. Keeping the Faith While the reasons for a startup may vary, what all entrepreneurs have in common is the willingness to take risks. Few entrepreneurs get it right first time. It takes resilience and tenacity to keep going in the face of failure and it takes perseverance to remain positive when customers' banks and financial backers repeatedly say no. Faith in the idea is essential. While some startups require very little capital, most require funding during their early growth phases. A business owner must be able to convince banks or other financial backers that their concept is valid and that they have the skills to turn the idea into a profitable venture, even though this may take some time. It took Amazon six years to make a profit. In recent years, securing finance for startups has become a little easier. Many governments offer loan plans or grants. Entrepreneurs with big ideas can access large funds of money and managerial support from venture capitalists, whose sole purpose is to incubate startups. For smaller startups, and for people with very little of their own capital, microloans and crowdfunding finance are increasingly popular. The Business Plan the key to securing financing is a business plan. A good plan will outline the idea itself, detail any supporting market research, describe operational and marketing activities and get financial predictions. The plan should also outline a strategy for long-term growth and identify contingencies, alternative ideas or markets, if things do not go as planned. Most importantly, a good business plan will acknowledge that the biggest reason for business failure is a lack of cash. While loan capital can help for a while, eventually a business must fund its operations from revenue. A good business plan will analyze future cash flows and identify any potential shortfalls. Beating the odds at startup is defined by the tenacity to take an idea to market the ability to secure sufficient finance, and the business acumen to turn a good plan into a long-term, profitable enterprise. Know the successful entrepreneur. Tony Fernandez. Tamsri Anthony Tony Fernandez was born in Kuala Lumpur in 1964 to an Indian father and Malaysian mother. In 1987, he went to school in England and graduated from the London School of Economics. In 1992, he worked briefly for Richard Branson at Virgin Records as a financial controller before becoming Southeast Asia Vice President for Warner Music Group. In 2001, Fernandez left Warner to go it alone. He mortgaged his home to raise the finance needed to buy the struggling young airline, AirAsia. His low-cost strategy was clear in the company's tagline, Now everyone can fly. 
One year after his takeover, the airline had cleared its debts of $11 million and had broken even. Fernandez estimates that around 50% of its travelers are first-time flyers. The company is now widely regarded as the world's best low-cost airline. In 2007, Fernandez founded Toon Hotels, a low-cost hotel chain that promises five-star beds at one-star prices. He advises potential entrepreneurs to dream the impossible. Never take no for an answer.